should all be working now. Um, so, hi babes, welcome back to Bibliophile ASMR for today's video. For today's video, we are going to be doing the long-awaited, just kidding, no one requested this video, the long-awaited, um, best albums of 2019 video. I'm doing this a little bit differently than uh, last year. I am going to be... What? Who cares? Oh my god. I am going to be doing like a little tournament. Now I made a bracket never done this before. I saw this before and I was like, you know what, this is what I'm going to do for the 2019 thing. So this is kind of going to find out the best album of 2019 from my, um, from my album. So I used my playlist and I'm going to go through and kind of just decide which one between these two is best. And then we're going to move forward to the finals. Now, it's not going to give us a list of all the favorites, you know what I mean? Like, it's not going to give us the 50th, the worst, you know, but um, it should be fun. Okay, so let's start. Round one. So, this is interesting. Mark is in progress. Match details. Okay, so there's um, chapters by James T.W. and Willow by Willow. Um, I would have to say Chapters wins this round. However, I didn't listen too much to Chapters. Um, Willow's Elf, or I, Willow's EP is really good. Um, however, I didn't find myself listening to it a lot, but there's a couple songs on. Okay, so, match number one, Arrow's EP. Snow versus Quiet Signs, Jessica Pratt. So I have two versions of Arrow's EP. There's the, um, I don't know if it shows it. Arrow stripped. Yeah, here it is. So, um, I feel bad using both, but they were both really good. So for, um, yeah, I guess this works. For Arrow's EP versus Quiet Signs, Jessica Pratt, I would say Quiet Signs, Jessica Pratt. Next, we have Streetlights um, by Streetlights AB by Alice Christensen, who is a YouTuber here on YouTube. Duh. Or For the Morning by Tyler Ramsey. I would have to say Streetlights AB. That was really good. It just recently came out. Ooh, see, this is a tough one. Stranger Songs by Ingrid Michaelson or Lover by Taylor Swift. Now listen, y'all are gonna hate on me for liking Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift's new album was pretty good. And that's on period love. Um, but Stranger Songs, Ingrid Michaelson is my B. Ooh, I'm gonna say, oh my god, I was not expecting this. Like, this is a hard one, like, for such a, like, first round. Um, we're gonna say Orange County's album was 
wasn't good, but, you know, I was seeing, no, this is a good one. Okay, 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 okay. See, this is a tough one. She is coming by Miley Cyrus. It was a little EP. Loved, loved, loved. It slayed. It diseased me. Or the middle EP by Marie. Marie had some amazing, amazing songs on her little EP, but I'm going to have to give it to She is Coming by Miley. No, don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. Oh my god, stop. Why is it doing this to me? Good at falling the Japanese house or welcome home by Hannah Cohen. Now guys, if you don't know Hannah Cohen, really um is a new artist, a new fave of mine this year. Her album Welcome Home blew me away, okay? But good at falling the Japanese Yo, you didn't have to go this hard. See, this is one that should be like at the very end. This should be like what we're getting to. You know what I mean? Like the, you know what I mean? Like these are two really, really good albums um, from 2019. Wow. For example, the next one, Human by Doty or Arrow Strip. I'm going to have to give it to Arrow Strip. I didn't really care for Human by Doty this year. Jai Wolf or Bear by Rosie Carney. I'm gonna give it to Bear. Rosie Carney's my gal. I wish this would show us this in the bracket. I like the bracket better. Oh, look at we're filling up. I don't want to pick. Oh, and it's going up against. Oh, she's coming. This is a tough one. How does this work? Like if I click this, what happens?
versus when we fall asleep. Where do we go? Now, Billy's album won, I think, like, best album of the year. But Sarah's my girl. This is where the bias comes in. See, I need to figure out a way to not do this by, like, without a bias. Sing to me instead by Ben Blatt. Another one like this didn't have to go off this early. Like, Ben, we don't want to leave her here in round one. But Muna definitely won. Like, you can't leave Ben Blatt in round one. This is really sad, but Muna is definitely going to win this. I'm really sad to say that. Wow. Alright. Another one. Another one. Okay, stop. How do I change this? I feel like this is a thing. This is why, like, in sports, there's, like, a different, it's a, it's a term. It's, like, they're something or whatever. So, like, the best, the best teams are up towards the top of the bracket. But, like, I wouldn't be able to do that without making a bias. Okay, not fair. Joseph, oh, my God, tuned by Angelo to Augustine was, again, one of the first albums from 2019. One of my favorites. Good Luck Kid by Joseph is one of the later ones, but good luck, kid. Good luck, kid. It's so good. Oh my god. Yikes. Here we go, another one. Welcome home, Hannah Cohen. Let me look at Welcome Home. I like, I know we already were going through this, but this is your life. All I want oh my god, like pretty much every song we're doing. Versus Japanese house. Oh my god. I even saw them in concert. This is this is unreal. We're gonna keep going. Chapter 2 EP by Girl in Red or Scenery by Emily King. Emily King won. For sure. Love Girl in Red, but sorry. Next we have Thank You Next by Ariana Grande or Titanic Rising Way as Blood. What's the one mean? It's like, I'm going to say something and it's going to hurt you, hurt you or something like that. What I'm about to say could hurt some people, but I don't give a shit. I love to thank you next. I'm not going to ever not love thank you next. However, but this is the thing. It's so tough. Like, I want to give Titanic Rising the, the winner here because Titanic Rising has like music, like Music is music. The or orchestral, ew, there's a hair. The, the orchestration she uses is unreal. These are some really pretty songs. I'm gonna have to give it to Andrea 
Ross's EP and I listened to it later in the game than Ingrid's album because Ingrid's album came out much sooner than Alice's. Sorry, Paris, Dan. You were. I love Paris. 
first ten, but they I just didn't care for their newest album. Amidst the chaos, or is it Muna wins? Sorry, Sarah Bareilles. Muna was one of my favorite artists. I'm telling you, the last three are going to be between Muna and Joe, or the last two are going to be between Muna and Joseph, and I'm not going to know how to pick. Okay. These, of course, of course, it's two girl groups, and both of them slay, slay me. I think we're going to have to, like, go and, like, figure out how many each thing had a song and which are my favorites of each song. You know what I mean? Oh, my God. It's going to be so hard. It's your bad babe. It's your funeral by Maisie Peters or Good Luck Kid Joseph. Oh, this is a tough one. Maisie Peters really released, but it's going to be Good Luck Kid Joseph. Oh, my God. Wait. Next round is going to be between them. Shite. Scenery by Emily King. Emily King wins. She was another one that really got me this year. Oh, we're under the third round. See, where is it? They're definitely going to make us do it. Oh. Oh, my God. It's going to be close. Save the world. Oh, my God. Wait, this round is going to be changing. Okay, Stranger Things has... Okay, no offense, Ingrid, but strange... No, I shouldn't even say it. I won't even say it. This should not be fourth round. This should be final round. These two were my top two, I think, favorite albums of this year. While wow, these albums are getting close. Fine Line, Harry Styles, or Thrilled to Be Here by Balin. Balin. Balin, 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 This one is 13. It's 12. Okay. I'm going to have to give it to Joseph. I don't know why it just came to me, but Joseph's winning. Muna shouldn't be that far down. I'm just saying it now. I'm just saying. 
you think. I'm obsessed with Joseph and I'm obsessed with Mona. Let's go to the 